Welcome to the 365 Performance Show with your host, Scott Dillon. What's up, everybody? Hope you're having a great week. So today is episode number 52. I have been talking into my phone, talking to myself for the past 52 weeks, which means I have finally hit the one-year mark. This is a big thing for me. One of the biggest issues and challenges I have every single day of my life is with self-confidence. Sharing my thoughts, talking to other people, specifically those that I don't know, it's something that I deal with every day. It's something I want to be doing every day because I'm really passionate about my job, helping other people in this little area of their lives with health and fitness, and just giving some advice and, and helping support them with what they need to do. And it's kind of a bit tough when you have these self-confidence issues. So the reason that I set up this podcast over a year ago, yes, it is because I want to have other people learn about us. Hopefully, something I say makes someone think a different way and makes a little impact. That's all very fulfilling, and it's great to be able to be of service to to other people and just share all my, my mistakes to hopefully make sure other people don't go through the same stuff. But if I from the get-go create this podcast with the expectation and the thing that I truly want is for heaps of people to download it to get a whole bunch of new clients and to get people to come up to me and say Scott your podcast is amazing I'm always reliant on external I'm reliant on other people I'm reliable on the stats for the podcast everything outside of myself but the only thing that we can really control is ourselves, our actions, and doing what we say we will. So the reason that I've been able to get to the whole year mark of me talking into my phone with no response from anyone else is simply because I made a commitment to myself that I was going to do this every single week. And it was less about other people. It was more about me just making a conscious effort and doing an action that challenges me puts me outside of my comfort zone every single week. Every single time that I do one of these podcasts, I don't really feel like it. I have all this crap that runs through my head like, oh, this is going to be crap, that was no good, no one's going to benefit from it. All stuff that doesn't serve me, and I'm sure you have thoughts like this that come through your head also. But why am I telling you this? Because I think the same thing happens with us in all other areas of our life, especially when we're wanting to do something that we haven't done before. And because I own a couple of gyms, I'm going to use the example of just training in general. So when people haven't done anything previously or they're wanting to do achieve new things, they, they come to the gym and obviously one of the, the first things that they want to do is they want to see results. They want to lose weight, they want to tone up, they want to get stronger, they want to get fit, all those those things and it's super important to have goals and targets don't get me wrong but one of the biggest challenges people face in that regard is straight away from the get-go they're reliant on something external to them and it could be something as simple as being reliant as what the scales say after you've been training for two weeks it could be something as simple as when if you deadlift something on week one and if you then deadlift something on week three and it hasn't increased well then all of a sudden you're not making progress but here's the thing if you have some make some simple choices that you can completely have control of external of any other reliance from anything else it could be something like i'm going to commit to going to the gym three days per week or it might be something else like i'm going to commit to having a green smoothie every morning or I'm going to commit to drinking three bottles of water each day or I'm going to commit to I don't know what else can we do I'm going to commit to doing my meal prep every Sunday those actions are things that you can actually take control of you don't rely on other people for that to happen if you have complete conviction and commitment behind you but the beautiful thing is if you are true to your word and you make whatever it is that you commit to happen on a weekly basis organically the other stuff follows suit if you do train three times per week over time you end up getting stronger you end up toning up you 
get fitter and all that sort of jazz. Same deal with all the other things that I mentioned. Right now, when I do my little podcast, I still have little demons that I need to overcome on a weekly basis. But the beauty is, after waffling on for 52 of these, it's a little bit easier to execute on them. You might see these examples in your own life that when you started something originally, you know, maybe you were tired and you didn't feel like going to the gym and it was like a struggle, but you kind of just made it there anyway. It was really hard. You had to talk yourself around 15 times before you actually made it in, but eventually you got in. And maybe right now, with where you're at, maybe you've been training consistently for the past little while, and when those little thoughts and stories enter your head, you just tell them to piddle off a little bit and you overcome them with a little bit more ease. So what I want you to do today is first and foremost, just identify maybe something that you did find challenging a couple of weeks, months, or years ago, but now it's kind of second nature to you. You still have those little demons and struggles that you need to overcome every now and then, but they're a lot easier to deal with, and just be, I guess, happy with your growth that you've achieved recently. But the second thing I want you to think of is if you are currently kind of hitting a roadblock and it's like you're going around in circles and you're maybe not seeing the success or progress you're after, maybe it's with some area of your life, I just want you to think what's something that you can change or the action that you can prioritize instead of being focused on the outcome. Maybe the action could be something really simple, like I said. I'm going to be committed for the next 12 weeks to every Sunday do my meal prep before I go out and enjoy my week, my Sunday. It's just something simple like that. Instead of being focused on what the scales say or anything else. Because you can control that action. You can't necessarily control what the scales say. Yes, we can make efforts and inroads in order to change that, which definitely should be happening if you have a coach. But the action that you can control is by far the most important piece. So I just want to say thank you everyone that listens to me waffle on. If you're getting benefit from this, just leave us a review and possibly share it with someone. That would mean a lot to me. And if you have any feedback or anything else, I'd love to hear it. Hope you have a great day and thanks again.